Hi everyone, it's Beth. And today I want to show you what to do if the user interface for the smart contract that you're using is not available when you need to interact with the contract. Because just because the UI is gone doesn't mean that the smart contract is gone. These smart contracts are going to be around forever. All you need is the contract address in order to write directly to the contract. So I'm gonna show you how to get your contract address and how to use that to, to write directly to the contract. So stay right there. Okay, so before I get started, um, please, if you're new to the channel, do take a moment and subscribe and also turn on post notifications. And of course, please do hit the like button. I certainly do appreciate all of the video interactions. Okay, so the first thing that you need if you need to write to the smart contract is of course the contract address. So if this is something that you've already interacted with, that is really very simple to obtain. All you need to do is, well, you can type in your wallet address, which I've gone ahead and put into tronscan.org. And I went over here to the third tab, that's the transactions tab. And here is um, an interaction where I triggered the smart contract. And that is an interaction where I interacted with the stockpile smart contract because I went over here to stockpile.network and it refused to connect. The site was gone. So um, the site is actually being moved is my understanding. So uh, I'm going to put the, a link to the new, to the, to the site that's available right now which is an active user interface if you want to use this. But in the case that this is not available or really this applies to any smart contract out there, in the case that the user interface is not available, you can just write directly to the contract. And I think it's just really important that everybody knows how to do that. So that's the purpose of tonight's video. Um, but I'm gonna have a link here to, to the new version of Stockpile so that if you're in this, you'll be able to interact with the contract here as well. Okay. So uh, tronsmartcontract.space is where you go to interact with the contract. And that's, this is the contract address right here. I just put that into this search box. That's a, that's a searchable box here and click show contract. And here it came up stockpile. So, but I got that over here by clicking that transaction that I showed you. And then over here, it says contract address. So I just copied that. And I took it over here, I put it in this little box and up popped the contract. So even when the user interface wasn't available, I was still able to withdraw my available funds from the contract. And the, um, the contract amount is decreasing as I am, I'm looking at this. So, you know, I'm, I am withdrawing from this contract as frequently as possible at this point. Okay. So, um, over here, you can see that there's read contract. So if you're ever looking at a contract, um, you can show the source right here and you can read through it. And then there are a bunch of free calls that you can make on the contract so that you can, you can look at a, a bunch of different things that are available here um, that are a part of this contract. So you can see the developer address. You can see how much affiliate profit you've earned. You can see what the balance of the contract is just by making free calls to the contract. Now, what you need to do in order to actually withdraw is not a free call to the contract. That is the second tab over here that is write contract. So you are going to need to write directly to the contract in order to interact here with the contract itself without the UI. So you can see when I clicked that there are three available options here. You can withdraw, you can invest. I wouldn't recommend doing that right now with stockpile. That's for sure and um, you can withdraw your affiliate commission. So um, I don't think that I have any affiliate commission here in Stockpile. So it is really just as easy as, it's just like on the user interface. So I'll bring this over here. Um, so I clicked, I, I, I clicked the, the send button here. It popped up the confirmation request. It looks the same as when I'm interacting with the user interface and I'm gonna click accept. And that's it. And that is all that you have to do in order to interact directly with the contract. So again, all you need really is just the contract address and to put it in here to turn on smart, 
tronsmartcontract.space. So um, I do hope that you found this video to be useful and informative. This can be a relatively uncertain space. So having as much knowledge with how to interact with these contracts as possible, I think is just a smart idea for anybody who is taking risks and using this DAP, this DAP space here in crypto, because there are some very ethical and very well-meaning people here in this space. Like I highlighted um, in yesterday's video that how Tron Village is handling their contract. I think that that is fantastic and I applaud them wholeheartedly. Not everybody is um, going to take those actions though. And so we need to make sure as users in this space that we have as much information as possible. So this is my effort to help educate everyone. So, all right, that is, that's all I have to say tonight about this. Um, if you did like the video, and I surely hope that you did, then please do leave it a like. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down in the comment section. And as always, I'd like to thank you very, very much for your time. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All right, thank you very much. I'll see you next time.